Hello, virtual learners. It's good to see you all here today. So today in class, we learned about the Beatles, the Fab Four. And here we've got them I clockwise from top left, Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr. If you want to learn more about them or see some music by them, click the link below. It'll take you to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame page. Unfortunately, they were inducted after one of the members had passed away. Okay, so let's get right into it here. So the Beatles were formed in 1960 in Liverpool, England. And the original Beatles that we see today on recordings, etc., were not the first members. The first four were John Lennon and Paul McCartney, but two other members, the drummer and the other guitar player. But Paul McCartney and John Lennon were just friends playing in a dive bar, that means a small venue, to make music. Tension arose early among the original members of the Beatles, but in 1962, the band we know today was formed. What actually happened was the drummer couldn't take the criticism he was receiving from John Lennon and left the group. And Ringo Starr left a different band to join the Beatles. Now, really quickly about each member, each member brings something unique to the Beatles. John Lennon was a brilliant musician and lyricist. So John Lennon wrote a lot of the words to a lot of the songs by the Beatles. He was also a piano player. Paul McCartney, the bass player, could also play piano, and he still does with his group today. He's responsible for most of, if not all, the melodies written by the Beatles. He also wrote the words to some songs, too. Ringo Starr is the drummer from the Beatles. He is still alive. World-class drummer and his incredible laid-back two and four are still unmatched today. I mean, he could lay back better than almost anybody. And he's the only one, the drummer, on the Beatles recorded tracks. Okay, and moving on to the other Beatles who are no longer with us, George Harrison, a songwriter in his own right, wrote at least five songs in the Beatles catalog. One of those is uh, the Sunshine Song. <laughs> He was also a very talented guitarist. George passed away in 2012 from a battle with cancer. He was 58. Now, much more tragically, John Lennon passed away in 1980. Uh, he was shot in front of his New York apartment uh, by a crazed fan. He was only 40. But news of his passing stopped the world, meaning it was a whole baseball game. It just everybody stopped what they were doing because they were so amazed. They were just bummed that the Beatles would never get back together. Okay, now some really fun facts about the Beatles here. Early in the UK, initially they were rejected by Decca Records. They said that guitar groups are on their way out, and they said no thanks to the Beatles. Big mistake, huh? They ended up being something. So EMI, Electrical Music Industries, got the bid. The Beatles' first single, which is on your playlist, was Love Me Do, in the UK. Shortly after they signed with a new producer in 1963, Beatle mania ensued. Everybody went nuts for the Beatles. They had their first number one, which was Please Please Me. That's the album cover on the background of your slide here. Huge world tours would take place in Europe, and they would travel all over, playing countless cities and larger venues. Now, the next step in their career was the Ed Sullivan Show in America. The British Invasion they came over to America to bring the music to us. When they played on Ed Sullivan, 73 million people watched it at once. That resulted in many tour dates in the USA and flying back and forth. They made the top five spots in the Billboard 100, and they played for countless fans, 55,000 in Shea Stadium. And that's the end of the slides. And if you have any questions about the Beatles, let me know. I look forward to seeing you guys back in class soon. See ya. Bye.